Hi guys, this is Karen with Planning with Care Bear and today we are going to do something that is a little bit ahead of time because I like to have this planner um, go ahead and get getting everything set up before I get to the month because this is the one I carry in my purse. Let's see, I'm trying to make sure you guys are... I've got to get my tripod tightened up for some reason. It's... Maybe that's better. Okay, y'all let me know if that's better. And um, you're going to notice on my channel that you don't see a daily duo for this week. We're in now St. Patrick's Day week. And that is because I've just been feeling awful between um, migraines, asthma problems, my daughter having hip problems that we're going to have to start physical therapy on. And she took several falls this week. I've had her in emergency room twice. I had to go to the orthopedic doctor. It's just been, I got my hourly plan and I just, I sat down to film my daily duo that would have been filmed today. And I'm like, why do I do this? This daily duo is mainly so I can plan each day out and not sitting there and back planning that one. So, Heather, I'm sorry, girl. I know you like my daily duo videos, but I will have one coming up uh, for this coming up week. So, anyway, we are using the January through December 2021 monthly planner from Erin Condren. This is the Petite. And, um, just kind of show you a little bit. This was January. I've never filmed one of these for this, but I thought it'd be fun since I bought the kit to film it. But this is January, and this one is from Black Dog Sticker Co. And you can see this is my very first video right here on the 27th. And I think I'm uploading... That was January 27th. I feel like I'm uploading my 19th video. So, um... Yeah, this is, this was monumental, guys. This here was my dad's birthday. Rest in peace, dad. He would have been 75. And a lot of y'all, y'all know that he passed away um, in September from COVID. He got the, he got COVID on September 3rd. And he died on September 29th. Y'all, and my stepmom got it the same time. And, but she already had some underlying issues and it caused her to have a heart attack and then she died September 21st. So we lost my dad and my stepmom within eight days of each other. So just, just horrible for our family. But anyway, let's get on to lighter things. Don't forget, you guys, if you've been watching my other videos that I have a giveaway going on. Um, I'm going to take all the likes and comments from the whole month of March on my on my videos and I'm going to um, either figure out a way to print each comment or I'll sit down and write each comment and then um, cut them you know cut them into strips and then I'm gonna fold them all we're gonna do this on camera so you guys know it's legit my daughter's gonna be the one drawing and we're going to um, have a cup here and I'm probably going to just do, write down each um, comment. And then while I'm on camera, I'm going to show you guys so you know your comments are in there. And then I'm going to cut them all, like on camera. And then fold them up and put them in a cup or a hat or something. And then we're going to draw the winner. And there will be, this is not the only, um, this is not the only giveaway i'm planning to do at least one a month i have a box behind me guys it's got goodies in it for everybody and i'm thinking about trying to get maybe gifts gift cards to maybe erin condren or my favorite planner shops and that way y'all y'all can just buy whatever you want but that'll be down the road because i've got at least six more giveaways behind me so don't you wish y'all could see i know anyway this is january this is february February was, I'm going to go ahead and take this off. February was kind of um, hard because my daughter was in the hospital in February. Um, 
I don't know what that, what ended up making it sticky there, but anyway. And then this is March, so today we are on March 20th. Look at this, I guess I had my pen open when I was in here, and I wrote on that. So yeah, it's March 20th. That's why I didn't want to do the whole, um, trying to do my daily duo and trying to bat plan all this. And really it's just for like your upcoming plans. So spring begins today, guys. I didn't even realize that. I'm going to pull this off and set it to the side because that's my dates that I need to um, remember. So this is what, I'm going to pull you guys up just a little bit. This is what the Erin Condren um, Monthly Petite Planner looks like. I kind of hope that when they come out with the new planners me and heather was talking about this yesterday i believe it was i hope that the daily duos are not colorful it's they're this color and it takes a lot of white out when you're if it was just neutral you could just white out that like the dates where you put the sticker down but like it's got a like if you don't like now we're in green it's got a green streak all the way across it so we're hoping that or i'm hoping that they um and there's that same sticky i think this is from those aaron condren um stickers these right here to make it out these right here because i went and put it in there like um when i got the planner and then now i've just because at first i wasn't going to do um stickers at all and then I decided I was going to do stickers after I put all those in. So you can probably see, um, I don't know if I got any more. I went and put all these in. Yeah, see here. Um, this is my sister-in-law's birthday. My husband's sister. So I'll have to take those out. But I'll be putting stickers back on top of those. And then what I've done was in the back... Um, I get to it. Um, I was going to originally do gratitude in this. And then I got the gratitude journal. So what I wrote. I just kind of uh, marked it out. And I put this is for upcoming appointments and notes. So. Um, but you can see upcoming appointments. I did that all the way through. Um, to the end. Here's December. That way if I don't have the sticker kit laid down yet. Like, I already have an appointment for May, so I can just go in there and write that in, you know, in um, May, and I already have it set to go. Anyway, let's quit delete dialing. We're going to go ahead and lay this kit down, and I uh, see how much I have to white out. I'm using kit 318i from planner kate i did pay the dollar extra to have the date changed to start on a monday you guys know this i do all of my monthly kits like this if they don't if, in fact a shop if they don't start on a monday uh, i'm kind of like please i'll pay extra <laughs> so anyway you got your uh holidays here and there's a holiday you got some late two labels here you got these boxes here you could use um like for a big day like my daughter's got a birthday in april she's gonna be 17 guys oh my god my baby i only have one child so she's my baby and then you got here this is the strip that goes here on the side i just turned it that way so you can see it i don't know if y'all can see this very good let me see if i can get it in there and focus yeah there's a little bit this is the side washi or the the one that's on the side you can use this at the bottom or you can use it to mark um when you're going if you're going out of town for anything and then i ordered this this is the first time i've ordered the um petite kit from planner kate like i said these other three kits i use i don't know if i told y'all but the other three are from black dog sticker co so um these were with the listing for the petite planner from planner kate and this is uh like i said kit 318 it's 8016 so let us get going i don't know if i'm gonna have to do white out we'll see just kind of get in here and get going yeah because and I, i'm glad for once i'm glad about a curve because um 
it helps you because this is a carved planner right here. Um, I was telling you guys in the video that it's not going to be edited and uploaded because I deleted it off my camera. Um, I was telling you guys about my daughter's um, doctor's appointment. I'm trying to see. Do I need? No, don't do that. So we took her back to the orthopedic. Um, I did have her MRI done. Oh, we're going to struggle. I had her MRI done Tuesday. You don't even see me while I'm fighting. And uh, we went back to see... Is that going to... Is that... We went back to see her orthopedic doctor uh, yesterday, Friday. And um, I was explaining everything in that video, but now that I'm... Uh, Y'all, I'm struggling. Struggle bus. I got a first class ticket. Um, she's got a, she's got a moderate to severe, um, strain it's in her hip, but also it's, um, like around, around in her, um, butt muscle and it um thank god it's not tear and it can be handled with therapy but um then she also has one that's in a muscle right down from that and that's a a mild to moderate because he said severe you know severe is the most severe requires surgery and then um you know moderate most of the time they can do it with therapy and then um mild they don't need to do it with anything so he gave her um, some medicine for it and um Okay, we're some um, uh, some kind of pain medicine. It wasn't like far out pain medicine. I, sh I got it, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. I felt like I had a migraine coming just from that. But um, he had like a Toradol. And then he gave her just a, a very mild muscle relaxer because of her being um, 16. Now, of course, she's, um, she's 16, but she towers over Mama, but that's not what they look at. They look at, um, her age. Anyway, we start therapy, and that's one reason I wanted to have this done, is because, um, therapy starts, um, this Thursday, the 25th, so I wanted to have this done so I could get good this makes me want to go back to not having not using stickers but um then if I knew how to edit this out of my editing video I mean editing software I would but um so we'll be going uh, to therapy Two to three times a week. Um, I think this next week it's just going to need to be two times. Because they couldn't get us in until. Um, they couldn't get us in until. Uh, Thursday. 25th. Y'all I'm. I'm really tempted to leave this. <laughs> there you go, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I'm back. 
Um, I did get this all now. It's not one to stay on because I, um, I think I four or five times I pulled it off. And with reusable st or removable matte stickers, you normally have two or three times of pulling them up. I think I've done this one like five times. And then while I was, um, had you guys paused, I went ahead and redated it because I moved mine to a Monday start. And then I was getting ready to go back filming and I heard a scream and... The cat had tripped my daughter, and she was laying on the living room floor, so. And in the midst of picking her up, yeah, you guessed it, I hurt my back. So I'm sitting on a pillow. We went, um, we went Friday, you know. It was yesterday we went, so it was Friday. We went and looked for some office furniture, but where we went, I didn't see ones I liked. Um, Big Lots had a couple, but they didn't have, I wanted the white one they had, but they didn't have it in, um, with arms on it. And then my daughter was so nice to remind me, and I'm glad she did, that I was going with cream and gold, not, um, anything that white would go with. So, we didn't find anything there, and then we went a couple more places, but they have a, um, like a budget office furniture place uh, about 40 minutes from us. I wish Ikea was close to us because Ikea, I would love to go there. But they are, I think, four hours away from us. And I, um, because the closest one to us is in Memphis. And my husband used to drive a truck for a company out in Memphis. So I've been trying to like put a bug, you know, in his ear. Hey, maybe we should go for the weekend um, to Memphis. You can see all your old co-workers. And there is an auction house and an antique shop that we loved going to. Plus there is um, a, um, a barbecue um, place that we love to go to. Um, we actually went, I don't know if y'all ever saw them on um, Food Network. They used to be on there. They were the Neelys um, when they were together. So we went to there. Um, we drove like 40, uh, about 35 minutes across town on several different freeways to get to theirs. And the best thing that we had there was the socket to me cake. It was delicious. It was like... See if I can figure out it. Well, it was like this tall and like this wide. And they warmed it up. We got it to go to get back to the motel we were at. Because when my husband worked for this company, he um, actually had um, an injury where he tore his labrum and he tore his, uh, his um, rotator cuff. So he had to have surgery. So, in order for workers comp to pay him for surgery, he had to go up there, like on a Monday through, through Friday, and then come home on the weekends, so, so they would pay him. Anyway, so, sometimes I'd go up there with him and stay, because he only had to work like half a day a lot of times, and then um, he could go out and do something. I'm putting this in the side over here. This is what I'm wondering with this one. Okay, look, this is from Black Dog Sticker Co. This. That's the size of the one from Planner Kate. Hmm. I don't know if I like that. Huh. What would you guys do? I mean, it covers up the... It covers up the lines. I mean, I'm going to put it in there because I have it, but I don't know about that. Okay, let's start getting things down. I'm going to get out some doodles because we got a birthday this month. My daughter's birthday. She will be 17 on me. I can't believe this. 
I've already put this down right here. So what I'm going to do is just take... I'm just going to, I think, take one of these. I'm going to write it, write it before I put it down because these stickers are so tiny and they're really hard um, to write on. So I am using the um, point five, so it's the extra fine. So we're going to put... Put Haley. I guess I didn't have to put anything because like when I put my dad's birthday down, I just put the big big box. But I want to write down if we um if we go out and eat or anything like that. My baby is gonna be 17. She was due May 12th. See if I have rain dry 17. Yeah. She was due, like I said, May 12th. And um, she was born. Actually, she was born on a Wednesday. And that's kind of funny. So on like the 19th, or it was the 19th, not like the 19th, I went to have an, um, just a rain, or, or you know, just a a um scheduled sonogram done and um when they done the sonogram or ultra well, i guess that's the same thing in and they done that they come back and told me that i need to just stay there and my ex-husband well he was my husband then he's now my ex-husband and um, he was with me because um he had uh, had some back pain going on, so we had, um, he had went to the chiropractor, and so he was with me when I went to the hospital to get the sonogram. So they called me, or no, they come in there, and they're like, um, we need you to stick around because uh, we need to call and talk to the doctor. Well, they never told me what it's for, just kind of like scaring me. And um, so they came in, and they said, um, need you to go over to his office. And when I did, they, um, he told me, he said, I'm going to put you in the hospital. And you're going to be on, ooh, that's, the sticker's bending. You're going to be on, um, liquid only diet. I'm going to see if these fit in there. I don't know if these fit or not. And, um. Yeah, he said liquid only diet, and we're gonna see because you've lost the fluid around your baby. So we're gonna see if it will come back. I don't know. I don't think these are gonna. I don't think these will even fit by themselves. Now you can see if you're ever doing it right here, you'd have to cut it. So I'll just save these for like my my big planner. These right here are a Jim Plans custom through Planner Kate. And it's seven fifty, and you can uh, I'll just put it right there. You can um, pretty much put whatever you want. Um, I think there might be a number of letters that she allows, and then like I got myself one here. It says Karen's appointment. And this is my check I N R, and that's when I check my to see how thin or thick my blood is. And I will show all these to you when I get ready to do my hourly. But these are sheet. S98. These are ones that was in her 50% off sale. So, um, I got a lot of these because I was going to put, like, some thinking about doing I and R right here and then the number. Like, today when I checked it, it was 2.5, which is very good. So, I've got, I think, four sheets of these. Let's see. Yeah, four sheets of these. And I don't remember if I... I had other ones in my cart, but I don't think I got those. I got a headache. I could use one of them. I am now developing another headache. The thing is, it goes away. 
And then it comes back. I need to talk to my friend Crystal about that. Crystal is um, also a YouTuber. And I think she's a nurse. Her YouTube channel is called What Was Mommy Thinking? She's excellent, guy. Guys, you need to go back or go and um, subscribe to her. I need to get... I got so much stuff around my desk because I, I was trying to film earlier and then that film just like bottomed out. So, I'm trying to get everything ready to film. Oh, God. <laughs> that scared me. Okay, let's get this show on the road here. Like I said, it's Hot Mess Express. I've got my 7x9 life planner so I can put down my holidays in the right place because of me changing everything around what out I'm going to put what is that yeah it's April Fool's Day that's what I'm gonna put in um, April Fool's Day was always special to my um, to my parents because um, there is a cat here. Um, I've heard my dad and mom tell the story so many times. Um, they met on April Fool's Day. And then um, after they met, um, my dad went home, straight home after they met, and wrote her letter and mailed it to her. I've read every one of their letters. Um... I don't know what happened to him. I, I got everything um, that my dad had saved, you know, and they might be in the cedar chest because I have the cedar chest. Um, but I've read all the letters that they wrote to each other. This is bothering me, guys. This will stay down. And um, they're so sweet. He would, they would go out and, you know, just like go out and get a burger and a Dr. Pepper. My mom was a Coke fan, my dad was a Dr. Pepper fan. And it was nothing to be, um, I want to be laying these down as I'm talking. They're nothing, my daddy, my mama hated tea and she hated uh, Dr. Pepper. And mainly everything, okay, let me try, backtrack. Everything but Coke and water, she hated. So it was nothing for her to get up from the dinner table and um, kind of like my dad would sit here, my mom would sit here, and I would sit here because I'm an only child. And then the, the dishwasher in the sink is right behind my mom. And my dad would look at me and he would wink and um, he'd like put his hand over his, our, fist, our finger over his mouth like to be quiet. And he would take her, and and now that I think about it, you can tell the difference between the Coke and the um, tea. But he would take her, um, yeah, this is it. He would take his tea and swap it with her, and she would turn around. And kind of, she was kind of a pattern, a creature of habit. She would turn around all all the time after she rinsed the dishes off. And she would turn around and take a big drink and she would go around and I can this makes me so happy thinking about this. I did not think to te about telling this, but I'm glad I did. She would turn around and just start like like coughing and gagging into the sink and me and my dad would just break out just laughing like crazy. Oh yeah, I love I love my parents and miss them so much. So there's just certain things that, that I'll see that reminds me, of course, of me on, on like April Fool's Day, that does. So you're gonna put in Good Friday, which is April 2nd. Yeah, back to, I don't know if I finished telling about my daughter though, but yeah, um, I had to go to, um, they put me in the hospital in the small town that I lived in. Um, we had moved back to there from Dallas after um, I got pregnant 
because my cousin was able to get my husband a job there and um so we moved back i'm not gonna put this on here because i need room and um he started working at this company there well, i'll just tell you guys we don't live there anymore so i'll just tell you guys and they don't even have this anymore he started uh working for georgia pacific plywood in arkansas and um easter and um he was off like on mondays and tuesdays so on um monday they put me in the hospital and they said just fluids only we're gonna see if we can build your fluid um because basically I lost all the water around her. So we're going to do that. And then we'll check you. I don't know why I'm trying to fix this. It's not going to come up. Uh, we'll check you on um, Tuesday, the 20th. And we'll see how it is. Um, I'm trying to see what this other one is. It says, it says it begins. Yeah, that is. I was reading that it's end. I was trying to figure out what it was. So, um, they put me in the hospital. I didn't have anything. I had straight fluids. And, um, yeah. Straight fluids. Then I had, um, you know, of course, whatever I wanted to drink. But then they had the IVs running. They were running pretty fast, too. You know, when you're pregnant, you have to pee a lot anyway. Especially towards that. I was... I was 36 weeks, and, um, well, right at it, let's see. Um, seven, I was 22 days from my due date. Sorry about that. I had to count that up. So, <clears throat> um, you know, you have to pee a lot anyway, so, but they came in the next morning and they did another ultrasound and it had to be a certain level before they would let me go home and continue my pregnancy. And it wasn't, so, um, they sent me to they found uh, one hospital that would take a um i guess on my insurance i don't know now that i think back on it but one hospital that would take um an emergency patient which is kind of odd to me but it was at the university hospital um up um in Little Rock, Arkansas, because that's the um, cap, you know, the capital city. And um, so they decided to, they were going to take me up there and um, I want to, now that I've thought about this, I want to put one of those little decorative boxes over here on Easter. So I went up there on a, when, I mean, I went up there on a Tuesday. I wasn't in labor when I left, and but when I got there, I was at a one centimeter which is basically nothing and um it started like I'm trying to decide if i want to put this like empty box i'll just do this one um they ended up like inducing my labor it was supposed to be like a natural birth well i mean with medicine but natural and um all during the night, I ended up being really sick. Um, I remember my potassium level just got like way out of whack. And um, my mom and dad and my, well now my ex-husband, my mom and dad and my husband were staying with me. And he had already called his mom and dad the minute we left to go to Little Rock because we were under the understanding that we were getting there. We were going straight into surgery and having this baby. And so they lived in Dallas, so, and his mom, she's now passed, but she was, um, had severe, 
um, rheumatoid arthritis and all this to the point that her, her fingers were just like curled in and all that. And she, I think every joint that could be replaced in her body, she, it had been replaced in hers. So, um, they had already come down, but they ended up getting a motel and for the night because there was no room in the room that I was in. But anyway, push comes, I mean, uh, where they broke my, uh, water and then, uh, let's see which one I want to use. I'm going to use these. Um, they broke my water and... I don't remember what time it was because I was in and out, almost like in and out of consciousness because my magnesium level had shot up so high that they were giving me um, uh, Jarvisat and a vinegar in every two hours because I was having massive headaches, I was throwing up, the magnesium was just out of whack in my body is what they told me. Okay, let me see. This is Hay Bales. That's also another name I call her. And, um... So that went all during the night, and then, um... The next morning, um... I remember them giving me a, um, a, um, epidural. Let's see, this is, and then, um, I remember them giving, breaking my water. And I, then at some, one time I woke up and I looked at my mom and I'm like, Mom, I'm hurting bad. I mean, I thought I had this epidural that wasn't supposed to hurt. And so she went and got somebody and they came in and they looked. And they're like, well, apparently it's not working. What we can do is just increase it. So they increased it and I just kind of dozed back off. And then, um, in case y'all don't know, I'm looking at this to get my appointments. I'm just kind of story timing with you guys. But I do need a drink of my ginger ale. So, um, later on that day, all at different times during the day, she, um, my, well, Haley Cap, um, her, her, um, where's the one? There it is. Her um, heart rate would drop, and it would make uh, basically flatlined, and then it would make this loud noise on the on the machine, and then it would come back up. So they didn't, you know, they didn't do anything because it was come right back up. And then um, there was a time where it it dropped it bottom lined and then it didn't come back up at all and i promise you i don't know where all these people came from i often tell it tell people and i'm like they had to come from the floors up because i mean like it's like the floors just opened up and all these people came in and next thing i know they're rushing me out to have emergency c-section and I'm trying to find out where my parents are because they had went downstairs to eat. And, and um, so my, um, Haley's dad, I'm like, you gotta go find them. So they weren't gonna let him in anyway because it was an emergency. So they, um, he went down and found them and they brought me in there and they're like, well, can you feel this and they were doing this little almost like if you ever seen a sewing needle like with the prickly not the needle but if you ever looked at the tools in the sewing department and they have the thing that looks like a pizza roller except it's um it rolls in like this and it's like little prickly spots on it but they kept rolling that on my stomach and they're like can you feel that and i'm like no and they're like you can't and i'm like no and then they just kept doing it and they're like can you feel that no and i'm like what's wrong with my baby and they never would tell me anything, and I'm just terrified while I'm in there. And all these people, I'm in surgery. And um, so they did that one more time. Can you feel this? I said, no. <laughs> I was getting so upset. 
And I'm like, what is going on? And they're like, they put, they gave me that um, mask to breathe so I could put me to sleep. And they're like, you need to breathe in, breathe this. And I told the, the and I apologized to him later, but I told the anesthesiologist, I said, I'm not breathing in anything until you tell me what's happening to my baby. And he looked at me, and I'll never forget that look. He said, ma'am, if you do not breathe into this mask, you and, definitely you, but you and or, and or your baby could pass away. I don't remember anything else. I breathed into the mask. <laughs> um, but they said when I woke up, I was real panicky. But what it was is, I was only at four centimeters, but when I would, uh, when she was trying to come at four centimeters, she was crowning. So when she would push against me, um, her cord was between her head and my body. And it was cutting her circulation, her breathing, all that off. So that's why they had to go in there and take her at that early. And she was already four weeks early anyway. So she weighed three pounds and 15 ounces, 17 inches long. And she's just fine. And she's my baby girl. And I will protect her with the world. I am truly a mama bear. Okay, so what I've got else to go to put on here. I've got to put these stickers. Oh, don't fall. I thought my planner almost fell. I got to put um, these stickers right here. This is for my Dupixit. I don't know if y'all have ever seen it on TV or not. I used to go get it somewhere. And then they got it approved um, through some little program. To send it to me um, at no charge, and then I give it to myself. So I gave myself my last. The last one I done was last um, last Thursday, and I done that, and I didn't have any problems. And it's just basically like a self-loaded uh, needle. You don't have to draw the medicine up or anything, and they give you two at a time. And, um, you keep them in the refrigerator, you lay them up about 45 minutes before you take them. And, um, so that's, and when I take the one, I got to mark it in here, but I haven't marked in my other planner. When I take, um, the one, the last one in March, which is the 25th. When I take that one, I then call them and tell them that I'm out of, um, I'm out of shots. Okay, so we got that down. I just hear my husband just cut in from work. Okay, and then, um, what I'm going to do right here. And for safety, safety, um, I'm not going to put where we're going as far as on our little, um, birthday trip for Haley. But I'm just going to put that we're taking a trip because I don't like to reveal where we live. I don't like to reveal where we're going, especially not after hearing about uh, Julie from Julie's Plans was talking in her Q&A last about that she had been really open with like everything that was going on in their family and uh, someone showed up at her work and I thought, oh my God. God, that would terrify me. Um, so that's why I don't like to reveal stuff like that. I'm just going to mark, you know. And then, I don't know if y'all ever have um, followed uh, Roman Reigns. Not Roman Reigns, he's a wrestler. Roman Atwood, sorry. Um, but he, uh, somebody was following him around and like badly uh, terrorizing them um, they would you know get into their bank accounts they get into their uh, phones hack their phones get in their phones they change phone numbers and they would still somehow find out their phone number so that's kind of scary 
okay anyways guys this is done for this month and i will do the if y'all like these let me know i'll do these once a month and anyway but i am going to go visit with the family and i hope you guys have a great day thanks and goodbye